belief in democracy. And, 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 and that's, I think, something is very basic human right. We're fighting for universal suffrage. We're dissatisfied with the proposal given by the Chinese government that they want to have this election committee to handpick a few people for us to choose from. We can choose our, our government, so we, we come here for our democracy. Not only students, but um, people of all ages and social classes have come out to, um, to express that we want to reclaim power as Hong Kong people. Uh, the Beijing government wanted to you know, control the Hong Kong government so that they can uh, you know, pass any laws that they wanted to pass. The government is not hearing our voice and so we need to come out to say something to them. I think Hong Kong is so different from China and it has our own style and we, have, we should have freedom, we deserve freedom. Hong Kong is our own. I believe in the cause of this movement and I also like the idea of um, us reclaiming the public space that is supposed to belong to Hong Kong people. So um, it just feels really nice to be able to you know, walk on the street. The environment here is much more friendly than any other place in Hong Kong. I feel like right home here is just uh, an ideal image of Hong Kong now. It's really the street art because if, if you walk towards the direction of central, you can see that all of the um, road signs have been um, modified. You can see, like for example, it's supposed to be airport express that direction, but then people have corrected the word and said like democracy express. The umbrella man is just representing our protesters. We are just holding an umbrella, and that's how we deal with the police. The Lenin War is it's kind of like a democracy war. Um, people, ha people write their own messages for the movement on different um, posts and then post them all over the staircases and the walls. Yeah, it's a very, very, very nice piece of art, really. Very expressive. One thing that touches me is that uh, people are really willing to give us materials. Uh, we don't know them and they don't know us, but they're willing to bring bags of um, face masks, water, snacks, and it's really touching to see that we all have this one goal and we're working together to fight for something we believe in. A lot of people call this umbrella a uh, revolution, but actually it's not a revolution in the sense that we're not trying to overrule the government. No, we're here to simply ask for universal suffrage. I don't, I don't believe in violence. We are very peace and we are very gentle. We want to differentiate ourselves from the people who impose violence on us. We think uh, if we do some violence, we just the, as the same as the now government. We just want to show the world and the international uh, we don't want any hurt. I think it's important to be peaceful. It has lasted for three weeks. Now, I think it is because this movement is peaceful so that we can last so long. We're not like other protests in other parts of the world. We are just sitting there peacefully trying to voice out for ourselves. And it also distinguishes us from, there's an anti-movement happening in Hong Kong. And for them, they express their ideas with violence and they hit people in Hong Kong and so, by doing it peacefully, show that we're rational beings and we're willing to talk and that's why the government should at least listen to us. A few days ago, the police had um, beaten up a guy like in the corner um, and that guy actually came out last night to tell everyone here that they must not use violence against violence. And I think for a person who had been like beaten up all over by seven policemen, to be able to say that it's really something in itself. trying to uh, move the protest, protests are done block by block very slowly but 
sometimes uh, without any reason they will they will use the pepper spray. We're just uh, trying to demonstrate in a peaceful way, um, but then they use these extreme methods without warning. Uh, the police have used 87 tear gas bombs. We, are, we didn't have anything. We don't have any weapons. We just have some umbrellas. There was uh, one uh, student in front of me. Uh, then, just a few seconds, he caught by the police, and then the police put him on the floor, and then around five or six police were over him. He, he must have been uh, hit. The picture was not good. The student in front of me, he didn't do anything. I think Hong Kong police is become uh, third. This is not fair to the citizens uh, because police is uh, our friend. When uh, I was small, uh, I think the police uh, brings the justice, but now they are not. There are so many pro protesters now. The police, they just gave up and um, they accomplished nothing. The police want to use force to, you know, uh, they want to frighten us with the, you know, power or force. But I think this is useless. You know, after the tear gas bombs, even more people coming to MOT, to Mong Kok, to Causeway Bay to protest. It shows that Hong Kong people will fight for democracy till our death. I think they're reluctant to give us what, what we want. Uh, the main reason is um, it may set up so-called what they think is a bad example for cities in China. Tibet is going to ask for the same thing. Taiwan is going to ask for the same thing. Taiwan is definitely asking for independence, but just because we know we're probably not going to get it, not. That doesn't mean we're not going to fight and not going to ask for it. If we don't fight for it, there will be no chance at all. Even though the chance would be slim, uh, we think this right is important to us, and that's why we're here to fight for it. Uh, changing government is a slow process, so I'm not, I'm not completely pessimistic. It's just that we will need a lot more persistence to actually bring this into fruition. We want to spread the message so that the world know what's going on here. And, and what we're asking for is not something ridiculous. No, it's very, I, I think it's very basic human right. I want the government to like, really listen to us for a change. The Tiananmen Square is a sample. We, we think the Chinese government is not having an open mind. If heaven changed the Chinese government's mind, it just tell uh, the people of the world uh, what happened to uh, our Hong Kong. Hong Kong people uh, work on the democracy. Our young people can, we have our time. We're still young. We have our time to do whatever we want and we still have a long way to go. So, and we are, you know, representing our, the future. I'm quite proud of uh, what Hong Kong people has been doing. By being here, they want to voice out for themselves and for our future generations. It is, it is the right thing we need to do. It's important because this is my, our future. It's also fighting for my own future. We want to make a better future for Hong Kong. It's for our future or my, my son's future. Having communication is the only way we can together make Hong Kong a better place. I am dreaming we will have universal suffrage. Even if that didn't happen, at least, you know, you see all the students back there. They come out here and fight for the, uh, what they believe. I think that's important. Even all else fail. 
we have our next generation with keep fighting. But um, you're not gonna know until until you fight for it. So yes, keep fighting.